Welcome to Cold Vision Webinars. Today is seven simple tricks to run your projects better. I'm going to start with some context around what I mean by project management. There are dedicated tools for project management. These are substantial and deep products, and they're ideal if you have a large and complex project. But they're not simple, they need to be learned, and for many projects they would simply be too much. They're also focused only on the project delivery, what I'm going to describe here is a process where the project flows as a result of the sale. Here's our first trick. It's to create new projects automatically. If your business sells something, which means that you now need to deliver some post-sale work, then you can do that as part of a continuous process. Examples of this could be you've sold a product which requires installation, or perhaps what you provide is a bespoke service which you now need to deliver. This post-sale work can be managed in a Gold Vision project, which can be set up automatically by the act of closing the sale. Here I'm looking at the sale opportunity, and I'm setting it to closed one. This is the trigger for creating the new project at the same time as closing the sales opportunity. How is this done? This piece of workflow automation is called an alert. An alert has a trigger and an action. In this case, the trigger is when the stage of the sale is set to the value closed one, and the action is create a new project. Trick two is to add the people involved in the project to it. That can mean the people on your team who are delivering the project, and also the people on the client side who are part of it as well. This process of setting up your project teams can make communications simpler in the project. Here's how it looks in the system. The contact is the main person on the client side involved in this project. The owner is the person in your business responsible for delivering this project. Additional people working on your side on this project can be added using add members. And if you want to involve an external third party, you can add any contact using the add link tool. You can also define what the nature of their involvement is in this project. Setting up your project team is also going to help in managing your thread of project emails. Projects have a correspondence box which tracks the thread of project calls, emails and notes. Here's how email tracking within projects is done. Emails are tracked into the right projects using the reference number that every project has. If you start a new email within the project, it will automatically have the reference number in the subject header line, and that will cause the email to track against the right project. Because you've already set your project team, all the relevant people are ready to be selected into the email. The project will build up a thread of communication from project emails, notes of phone calls, and notes of meetings. If the email has no reference number, you can direct the email to the correct project using the Outlook plugin. Trick four is to automate project tasks. Projects are typically made up of component activities. If your projects always contain certain activities, for example, a safety assessment or a site visit, these things can be automatically created in the project as soon as the project itself is created. The creation of project tasks can be done by our automated workflow. In this alert, the trigger is the creation of the project itself, and the action is the creation of an underlying activity. There's one alert for each activity that you want to have in there. The alert action I've chosen is to create a new activity, and I can define that that activity will have the title safety assessment, and it will be set to be due in eight days from now. Trick five is to have a central place to store all your project documents. The project tool includes a project document storage area, which is intended for material specific to this project, which could be Word documents or PDFs, but it could also be data, images, photographs or plans. To add material to the document storage, you can browse and select a file, and then just upload. Alternatively, you can Browse in your folders and drag and drop. There's a notification if you're about to upload a duplicate file. The real value of this is as a single central point that everyone working on the project can deposit files. If you use SharePoint, Gold Vision will integrate with it and use that as the storage location instead of Gold Vision Storage. 
The next trick is to allocate and track the tasks within a project. The overall project is made up of the underlying activities and appointments. The project overall has an owner, but the underlying activities and appointments also have their own owners. They could be different people to the overall project owner. Here we're looking at a list of activities for one project. I can open any one of them up for editing and reassign them to another member of my team. I can also bring in a contact from the client side against that task. As an alternative to lists, you can also view project activities against calendars. In this view, I'm seeing tasks for all projects for all members of the team. Another alternative is this flows view. This is an active visualization. Activities can be moved between different stages or between different members of the team just by moving them around the screen. The final trick is to use project stages. Many project managers prefer to move their projects through defined stages, and you can replicate those stages in Gold Vision projects. However, this isn't just current status. This is also a trail of the project's progress through the stages. This stage history is automatically created whenever a project moves between stages. That's useful for any one project, but if you have several projects live at once, this will give you an overall status update on where all of the projects are now. Today's session focuses just on those seven tips and tricks. Here are some bonus points which might also be useful in the context of projects. I've been using a system today which is in fairly standard configuration, but projects is an area which responds really well to being set up specifically around your requirements. The automation that we saw earlier can also be used to carry across key information from the sale into the project itself. If you need to log the time spent on a project, the time tracking tool does that. Here's a typical project. It contains an activity. There's a summary view of the time actually spent on this activity, and we can log time against it with a timesheet. This tracks how much time was contributed by which member of the team on which date. Back in the activity, my reporting is showing me how much time has been spent. It's increased by the amount I just put on the timesheet. If you need to manage project meetings, you can add an appointment to the project and set it up like this. You can set the date for the meeting directly from the pick box and set the time from there too. To invite your client side contacts, click in the contact box and select which of your contacts you would like to invite. You can do the same with colleagues and teams of colleagues. Appointments can have types, you can select those from here, and you can also set your reminder for the meeting. Because Gold Vision integrates with Outlook Office 365 Gmail, this information can push across into you and your colleagues' calendars. If you manage a team of people working on your projects, it might be interesting to know what's been happening on those projects recently. The recent events list is exactly that. You can see which members of the team have been doing which activities on which projects. The final bonus point is if you need to create project documents from templates and get those signed off by the clients, you can use the eSign capability to achieve that. Here's a summary of what we've covered today. Projects are very suitable for managing post-sale activities. They're granular, they have owners, they have deadlines, they have status, and they have underlying activities and appointments. The contents of projects is reportable which is useful for managing multiple projects at the same time. Projects progress through different stages, and as they do, they build up a thread of communications by email or notes or phone and documents which relate to them. The document tool can be configured around the specifics of your kind of projects. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. If you'd like to know more about any of the points raised in this, please do get in touch.